What's up, baby? Boom. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the UFC Bantamweight division. Uh, there's a lot of craziness going on with the whole situation with, uh, you know, let's start with Corey Sanhagen with, you know, supposedly was going to be fighting Frankie Edgar January 25th. Frankie Edgar gets moved to fight Korean Zombie. I understand they needed a replacement, but... Now Corey Sanhagen left without an opponent, uh, someone who's, you know, trying to move up the ranks, doing really well in the Bantamweight division, uh, and, uh, you know, we're not quite sure who they're going to match him up with now. There's talks about Dominic Cruz coming back, uh, you know, you got a Sun Sal in the wings, you, uh, he's fighting uh, Cody Garbrandt, um, you know, Cody Garbrandt's trying to look to make a statement and get back himself, um, you got... Um, Cejudo relinquishing or, or, or getting stripped uh, of the flyweight title. So obviously he's going to be defending his bantamweight title at some point, but he's calling out guys like Aldo and, and you know, veterans of the sport and not really looking to to say Al Jermaine's name or say Peter Yan's name or, or legitimate contenders that are coming up, um, which is interesting because, you know, Aldo lost his last fight to Marias and you got Henry Cejudo like, Hey, I want to fight Aldo. I thought he won that fight. You never know what the UFC does. You know, if they agree, if they think Aldo won the fight, you know, and that's the big fight to make with Cejudo. I don't know, man. It, crazier things have happened. We got a bull machino, baby. We ain't playing games here. Little sipperu, and we're back. Boom. But yeah, uh, you know, I I just want to see Cejudo get booked. I want to see the division move along. Obviously, Aljo has that uh, injury he he's recovering from. Uh, we haven't heard a word from Dominic Cruz. I mean, it seems like he recovered from his injury. He's back in the gym. Maybe he needs more time to prepare. Who the hell knows? Uh, I'd like to hear from him and see kind of where his timetable uh, lays out. Because for all we know. He might come back to fight Suhudo. That's a big name fight. It's bigger than a, a Yan or an Aljo fight. That's just the truth. Um, Peter Yan, who are they going to match him up with? Are they going to do, you know, a number one contender fight between Yan and Aljo? Maybe when Aljo heals up, uh, maybe they'll look to do that fight towards, you know, Middle of next year, January, February, March, April, maybe April in New York. That wouldn't be a bad uh, situation. You know, Aljo's a New York guy, so they might look to do that that fight there. Um, and then you got, you know, Cruz. Uh, they they could match him up against Faber if they want to give him a return fight against someone who's beatable, who's around his age, who's you know, uh, kind of in the same position in his career type stuff. Uh, you never know if Faber's going to even fight again, but that's a fight that makes a little little bit of sense. You know, especially for Cruz being out for so long. And there's just, you know, there's just so many different options and directions things can go. Things are not clear cut right now in the Bantamweight division and it really makes things confusing because we don't even know when our champion's coming back. We don't know who he's defending his belt against. You know, he's already beat Marias. Marias had the controversial win over Aldo. Uh, maybe you make uh, Jan versus Marias and you make... Uh, Sanhagen versus Cruz, but then where do you put Aljo in there? Because he's going to come back eventually, but if he needs more time off and those guys are ready to fight, maybe those are the two fights you make and the winners come out. And, you know, maybe, you know, if Jan wins, you make the Aljo fight. Uh, if Cruz wins, you make the Cejudo Cruz, Jan, Aljo for number one contender. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot to, to unfold here. So uh, I, let me know what you guys think. You know, wh who should uh, Corey Sanhagen fight? I would love to see him fight Dominic Cruz. Cruz, just with the similar style, with the the length and the reach at bantamweight, and uh, you know the way that they move is very similar. I would say Sanhagen's a little more new school, but Dominic Cruz has such a well-rounded game, and he fights very long for bantamweight, and he's uh, he's able to move and get in and out, and, and he's very tricky. So. Um, that would be a crazy stylistic matchup right there. Peter Yan, who's been the fucking devastation of the division, running through guys left and right. Very impressive stuff. Uh, you know, I, I'd love to see Aljo versus Yan just to see who really is the number one contender, uh, who really is ready to fight for that title. That would be an excellent fight of two different styles. Aljo's a very hard guy to corner against the cage and, and, and really kind of keep, you know, his back foot and, and, and stop his movement and his 
his kicks. Aljo keeps you at bay with his kicks. Very smart with it. Uh, he's a good game plan guy. He understands what he's doing and how to outpoint you and stuff like that. And his last fight against Pedro Munoz was, you know, one of his best fights, probably his most impressive fight to date, you know, with his aggression and his ability to try to at least finish the fight. Um, Munoz is another guy. He's willing to fight anybody. I know he lost, with, you know, against Aljo, but he's an impressive fighter. And he, you know, let's not forget he he put Cody Garbin out, and he's still out there. You know, maybe they put Munoz in there with Corey Sanhagen and give you know Sanhagen a fight where he still has to work his way up. Let's be honest. Some of these guys, you know, you might be a killer, you might be a winner, but uh, if you're not a finisher. And a star in the making and a guy with a lot of hype that has a big following behind him. You're just one of many, you know. Uh, there's so many good fighters in this game. Uh, you know, you, if you don't have a personality, if you don't say some controversial shit, if you don't, you know, cause up some, stir up some ruckus and it doesn't seem like genuine and it's not you... Sometimes you get left in the dust. And I see guys coming out of the woodworks trying to change things up a little bit and kind of kind of bring a little bit of a flair to their personality and, and, and kind of, you know, be a little cringy as they call it. I noticed that a little bit. Uh, it's hard for me to to relate to that. I get being, you know, outspoken. I get that. But, like, just be yourself, man. You know, it's like have some integrity, uh, you know. Maybe amp it up a little bit, but stay true to yourself. I think that's important, you know. But uh, let's see what happens, what unfolds here. Uh, I, one of my most curious things is like Dominic Cruz. Because I, I truly believe he's one of the best Bantamweights in the world. You know, I, I wouldn't mind seeing... Uh, Cody get a win and, and let's see a uh, Dominic Cruz versus Cody rematch. That would be that would be special to see as well. Uh, but a lot of things have to unfold in order to kind of get these pieces, these puzzle pieces put in, in, in the right spot. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think, what matchups you want to see the most. I uh, appreciate if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out more content as, as you see. I know my fight's coming up, so it's hard. I'm busy training, trying to stay fucking ready to go. UFC 246, January 18th. Boom.